Hello everyone, this is Gene Thorpe, Little Red Rooster TV. I'm here on behalf of uh, the Vox Ring Guitar Center and myself actually, Gene Thorpe, and I am a realtor. I've been a musician since 1961. I'm here today uh, talking a little bit about the Ibanez Artcore 12 string, which I used this guitar for about an 18 month period of time. Um, on every gig I played, which was sometimes two, sometimes three gigs per week, and sometimes only one gig per week, and, or no gigs per week, but at least a couple of rehearsals. I used this guitar for every performance and every rehearsal for about an 18 month period of time. Um, I've always used 335s, Les Pauls. I'm on my fourth Rickenbacker 12 string that I have now. I've had many 12 strings. I've got a Taylor, I've had Ovation, I've had Guilds. Um, and Vox for that matter, uh, and uh, I must say this Ibanez Artcore is one of the best and most versatile 12 string guitars I've ever had. It's based on the classic Gibson 335 style, although it, there are differences. You know the F holes are a little bit bigger and uh, obviously it's an Ibanez and I've had many 335s and I must say the workmanship and quality of this guitar um, you know, from my perspective as a player, uh, has been every bit as any other 335 might be. You know, it's a 12 string. I've never had another uh, 335 12 string. But this guitar right here, for me, is a very comfortable neck. It's not real thin, but it's not a big C neck. Um, uh, and comparing it to the Rickenbacker, it doesn't quite have the treble or the jangle. But with any 12-string uh, electric guitar, you always would want to use uh, a compressor of some type. I uh, prefer using, at this point, the iPod, the compressor, and an iPod. They're very versatile, although I'm looking to many different standalone compressors, and I'm choosing one now because I'm going to continue my 12-string playing with a Rickenbacker that I did purchase, uh, Rickenbacker 1993. Many of the Rickenbackers that I had previously, the necks, in my opinion, were too small, whereas this neck would allow me to play all of the classic, uh, you know, bird parts or, or George Harrison parts or whatever. And it's amazing to me in pop music and uh, in rock and roll music how many times on records we will hear 12 strings. They're all over the records. They're all over the 60s and 70s and 80s and even new records. And uh, you know, I was watching a video the other day, <clears throat> you know, about how to get that 60s sound. And what's interesting is back in the 60s, uh, most of the strings on 12 strings were flat wound. You may want to try that. Always try, uh, you know, different things. And uh, compressor. Now, the sides and back of this guitar are made out of maple. The neck is made out of mahogany. It's got humbucking pickups. And the Ibanez humbucking pickups, I mean, to my ear, are very, very close to Gibson humbuckings and actually many aftermarket companies make humbuckings and one is going to be you know pretty close to another. My recommendation on a 12 string a lot of the times is use you know maybe a Fender Deluxe although nowadays I'm uh, <clears throat> using a quilter amplifier and I think they're very good and you can pretty well use anything you want. I'm going to demonstrate this through a, uh, a 65 Deluxe reissue and, and we'll have the playing of it going on in the background. That's what you're here, hearing probably right now. I'm going to play some birds parts and I might play a little uh, George Harrison uh, rhythm guitar parts from some of the songs there and some lead guitar parts from Jim McGuinn or Roger McGuinn, however you want to call him. Uh, we'll put it through a compressor. And this guitar, uh, you know, I think retail for somewhere like on the price tag here. I bought it from Encore Music in Auburn, California from Larry Gosh, one of my dear friends. The list was 688 bucks. I know you can buy these all over eBay and all over Reverb and that type of thing for $495, uh, $499. I don't know if they come with the case. I'm going to be offering this one at the Vox Room online, Vox Room Virtual Guitar Center for uh, $399. There are no buckle rashes and no chips or any of that type of thing. There is discernible wear, it has been played, no real hard fret wear or anything like that. This does have kind of a jumbo fret type of thing. The neck is rosewood, it's dot inlays. I love the guitar, but I just don't need this many 12 strings. I also have a uh, <clears throat> Taylor 150 12 string and, and I like that. So when I'm sitting around, I'll play that, the Rickenbacker, 
uh, to me, what I wanted to do in, in my band, in my in our little show, is we like 60s and 70s music. We're a vocal band, and I'm using a Gretsch 6120 part of the time, the, uh, the Rickenbacker 1993 part of the time, and, uh, and, and actually even a Washburn 335 style part of the time, because I wanted to get a little versatility, as well as a good acoustic electric. So I wanted to get a, a little, little bit of a different sound. Now, as I say, for 18 months straight, I used this for every song, and I played, you know, many four-hour gigs. This neck is very comfortable. It doesn't give fatigue you or anything like that. And for all practical purposes, if I only had one guitar, I could live with this guitar on a desert island. It is a desert island type of a guitar. So, in any event. I know I make videos on real estate. I've been a realtor for many years. Started uh, my playing career in 1961. I was 14 years old. I'm 71 years old now. I might confuse people because on my channel, which is Gene Thorpe, a YouTube channel, uh, you know, I have some real estate uh, uh, interviews and I have some real estate learning and I do the Lincoln, California Real Estate Show. I also have the Vox Room Guitar Center and Little Red Whisker TV where I talk about music. Um, I would love to have you subscribe. We're going to have many more musical instrument reviews because out of all of the things that go up on YouTube, the reviews seem to do the best. So I'm going to head over and do a little playing for you right now to give you some of the sounds. So this is Jim, Gene Thorpe, Little Red Rooster TV and the Vox Room Guitar Center with the Ibanez Artcore 12 string. And I'm going to be signing over to a little playing demonstration. Thank you very much for listening and please do subscribe. Thank you.